it comes in. It's okay. It's not responding. Yeah. They can always see the re-show, re-record. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Where is my ding 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 ding? But we are live. <laughs> anyway, we are live. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's a countdown. <laughs> Too long, we never come on live stream and it go rusty. I've gotten out use it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me just. Okay. Okay, hey, just now, be very see. casual, huh? Because yes. I just had a, had a bad day. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All the more okay. reasons to draw. <laughs> Yes. So what, what I want you to do is uh, log into Facebook and share it to your page, the live, so your friends can into come and Facebook. see what you do as well. Mm -hmm. Log what into uh, Facebook, by the way? Either on, go to YouTube or Facebook uh, on our... From our group, wow, can we do that? Or wellness, yeah, and then share it, share it to your own Facebook page so your yeah. friend can see that you're live. So I'm oh, going to share okay. it to different group as well so that people can come and see what we do. Oh, so YouTube better or Facebook better? Uh, the link. Uh, either or. Yeah, and then share it, share it to your own Facebook page so your friend can see that. Okay, live. so on your Facebook page, you will have to put it to mute so that your sound is not reflected here. Right now, it's reflected. Oh, How do so I do YouTube better or Facebook better? The... <laughs> Sorry, about that is mine. <laughs> Bad chatting. <laughs> it's muted. <laughs> Okay, so maybe you also have to mute your Facebook. Uh, do I have any? I don't. I haven't on anything yet from my from my. Okay, uh, that's fine. Yeah. Gone live. So, because once you share, that is where you. Uh, oh. then you know because it's playing on your screen at the same time, isn't it? I shared mine. So I'm sharing it to a different group as well. I've yet to learn how to do that. I only know how to share on one page. <laughs> okay. So the next few person that is doing, probably I can come and... Okay, let me share to a few other group as well. Okay, there's a two group that we share out to. Hello, everyone. Thank you. And I, I, we are still waiting for most of our friends to join us. Now, today we have Mephis, we have Kwa, and we have Jane with us at our live stream. Hello, now, everyone. Yeah, we are glad to be back on live stream. <laughs> okay, yeah. today the topic is self-love. In fact, this whole month that we are talking about self-love, and we have such amazing uh, volunteer that have come on board and share about the crucial, uh, the crucial part of why about self love. But exactly, what is self love? Uh, Kwa, what do you think? What is self love? Self love is taking care of yourself. Be yeah. be happy with you. Uh, don't. Don't be, don't dwell on your mistakes. Learn from it. Grow from it. Don't learn like, from mistake. Right? Yeah, from that's mistake. true, isn't it? Don't beat yourself so hard, right? That's true. Yeah. That's self-love. How about, how about Jane? What is self-love to you? I think I would say that it's about accepting ourselves as we are. There's nothing to change about it, you know, unless you feel that you want to change something, that's fine. But that's also self-love. Not just because someone else says that, oh, you need to change, then you change. Yeah. Mm. How about Mephis? To you, what is self-love? Oh, well, self-love is just about accepting yourself as who you are and then affirm that you are, you, you are, the, uh, you are created beautifully and, uh, oh. and appreciate uh, people around you who really love you as who you are yeah so i I, wow. I think you need to go you need to know how that you are loved no matter what ah yeah. actually you know to many people it's such a i mean it's so easy to say but it's such a difficult thing to just accept accept mm. love itself isn't it now mm. according I, i'm reading from one of the website brain and behavior um, research foundation on mental health, it says what is self-love? 
So before a person is able to practice it, first we have to understand what it means. Self-love is a state of appreciation for oneself. That's exactly what Mephis is saying. That grow from action that support our physical, psychological and spiritual growth. Self-love means having a high regard for your own well-being and happiness. Self-love means taking care of your own needs like what Kwa have just said and not sacrificing your own well-being to please others. Self-love being not setting for not settling for less than you deserve. Self-love can mean something different for each person. So like each of us, we have our own opinion of self-love. But in many ways, it's like what Jane have also said, take care of ourselves. Figuring out what self-love, like, you know, I think a lot of... Uh, there is, I think especially women, I, I don't know whether do you agree, we find that it's so difficult to like give our, make ourselves prioritize, don't we? <laughs> we always make other first. Okay, men excluded. <laughs> Qua. Qua, do you agree or not? <laughs> because women, we have such a, such a, I, I don't know, is it the way we oh, are made? general instincts, is it? Yeah, is it, is it the way we are made that I think we feel guilty if we give ourselves too much love? Do men do men feel that way? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, I don't feel guilty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That that is the different. You know, I remember uh, Michelle Obama did mention before when uh, when the men they went out with their friend for the night. They are out and they are out there. They are present. But when we women, when we were to go out for a night leaving our kids behind with our husband, guess what? We were so guilty. <laughs> we felt so guilty that, you know, we left them behind. So this is the different mentality of women and men that the way we are made, that we felt, you know, we are responsible for them and we have to be there for them. And a lot of time we don't even give that permissions for ourselves to really relax and, you know, for the time for ourselves. Uh, we mm-hmm. have Carrie. Carrie, thank you for joining us. Hello, Kerry. Thank you for joining us. So, now, how, how, what do you do when it comes to self-love? What do you do to really take care of yourself? What do you do when, when you talk about self-love? Kwa, what do you do to take care of yourself? Um, work out. Ah, I your workout is to, uh, a way to take care of your own body. I work out and or just do my hobbies. Concentrate on that. A lot of four points is on... I'm building a computer, so I'm just concentrating on that task. Is that your hobby, building a computer? Yeah, I, I, I like building stuff, and I like wrecking stuff too. <laughs> That's the naughty boy in China. <laughs> I, I do find that uh, usually boys, uh, I mean, when I was uh, teaching the students, Usually boys like to really handle things and they really are very curious about gadgets and construction, especially. So, taking so a pen I, apart and bringing it all back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just my son also would like to just dismantle everything and put them apart and then put it back. So I guess it's part of them. Sometimes. The Facebook just came online. <laughs> so <it's laughs> <sort of now. laughs> yeah. So, but what do you do? What what do you do to like when we talk about self love? What do you do for yourself to appreciate or you know to to exercise that part of the self love for yourself? What do you do, Jane? What do you do? Do you like go for a girl night out? <laughs> Uh, no, actually, you know what? If I stayed in Singapore, during holidays is the only time I get to do this, right? But if I stayed in Singapore, I'd probably be doing work as well. It, it's an oh, automatic thing. So I have to holiday, take huh? my travels. Yeah, my travels is my time for myself, you know. Just leave the country. But right now with COVID, I can't leave anywhere. So yeah, just <laughs> like, stay at home and... So difficult, and, right? <laughs> I'm so looking forward to traveling again. But do you, do you really like... You know, when they say uh, give time to yourself, like really, you know, you know, like try not to feel guilty, like leave the family alone and have time for yourself. Do you do you do that? Yeah. Yes. yes I do that. Yeah. Yeah. How about Jane? Oh. You think? I, when I come back home, you know, and I'm with the children and all that in school, it's it's a lot of noise and all that. 
because oh, the children, gosh. right? You're bound to make noise. In, in school, it's different. In, it's, but when I come home, it's a totally different environment altogether. And I don't feel guilty about uh, not taking up a call or picking up a call or attending to a call kind of thing. It's my time. It's me time. <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. That is so important. But I think yeah. it's important in order to have that so that you appreciate when you go back to the other side as well. Yes. You know, yeah, you reach you you yeah, you recuperate. Yeah, you came back. And I don't feel guilty something. one bit about it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you should. And, and just how Kwa did mention, now self-love is also not judging yourself, right? Mm. Kwa, you want to elaborate? Like it's like giving yourself a break from self-judgment. How, how does that exercise as self-love? Yeah, because in this day and age, people like you, the harshest critic is ourselves. True. We like to always judge ourselves in what we do and what we say. In what actions we provide to that to that person across across the other side, mm -hmm. and we always reflect on that. Like, should I have done better? Like, and it puts a lot of self doubt on oneself. Self love would be to look at that and as an ob an objective view and go, okay, so. I did this, I did that. What, what, how can I improve on it? Or, okay, look, I've, I've approached this. How, how can I take it at a different angle now? Like to, to please that person or, or to make me feel like I don't have a weight on my shoulders, in a sense. Yeah, how important it is, right? I think we yeah. are we're our like the harshest judge and judge. critic yeah. of ourselves. We beat ourselves so hard sometimes. But like what you say, we just have to give ourselves leeway. You know, no one is perfect. I think that is such a good reminder, Jokwa. I, I really like that. Now yeah. someone asked, so what is our hobby? You know, I think like, like what Kwa say, you know, pick up a hobby, which is really what it really means is having time for ourselves to do the thing we love to do, right? So what is a hobby, maybe I'm curious. Not drawing, is it? <laughs> okay, so if me, yeah, I actually uh, have a, a lot of hobbies, but it, sometimes it will just stay for a while. After that, you will uh, go on to the next one. So when I was young, I I actually had uh, do puzzles. I don't know, everyone. Just like fixing puzzles. Oh, puzzle. Oh my God. Yeah. That, that needs a lot of patience. <laughs> I, don't, I hope you so, don't have missing piece. <laughs> Oh, well, I was quite quite uh, quite frustrated when I had missing piece. <laughs> yeah, and uh, after that, yeah, after that, I went on, of course, drawing. And then after that, um, when I have a, like a little free time, I will actually try to learn to cook. I will just, uh, uh, I will just, uh, because I learned it from my mother. And then after that, now I'm not with my mother, right? So I will just remind myself how, how I've, done it and i just maybe once a week would try to cook but uh, well it's just a very quick meal so that uh it, it's sometime off because i think that previously i actually shared that you can go you know, washing dishes can actually take your mind off <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah, you can actually don't tell something. my husband okay you use that as an excuse <laughs> go and enjoy therapy <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Laura. Laura, I said, as a mother, I feel self love is taking care of yourself as well as your care for yeah. your family. Ah, oh, that's very true, Laura. Thank you for joining us today. How about Jane? What is a hobby, Jane? Uh, I do reading. I, I love to read. So if it's a good book, you know, I can Aww. go on reading without putting down. Yeah. So, I, I know. I know. I'm, I'm I understand that feeling. <laughs> Like yeah. that's the best part of the day where you can retreat your into your bed and do your reading. That's not yeah, the best exactly. part. <laughs> anyway, yeah, even yeah. while I'm waiting outside the doctor's room, I'll be just reading. You know, that's and until I almost miss the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's to me. I, I love to read as well. So it's like the best part of the day when I can settle into my bed and pick up the best book and like, oh my god, it's it's like the gems, you know. And I I love gardening as well. So you know, previously when Raji talked about nature, what I can really identify that is the part that we, where you really retreat to your own sanctuary. And I think that is my way of self love and self care by giving myself time. So reading is like really into my own world where nobody can come in so that is also giving time by herself and but today Mephis are leading us into 
a meditation through art expression. Well, mm. well, that's where we explore about self love. Maybe we pass this time to Mayfi so that she can tell us more about how can this art expression help us to really exercise self love and be aware of how important is self love in our life. We pass this session to Mayfi. Go on, Mayfi. It's yours. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now, actually, uh, when when we sometimes we may not find any avenues for for making time for ourselves so if you take about uh, about 10 to 15 minutes just to be with yourself for a while okay you can actually untangle yourself so i mm. i we found this uh, method it's called the zen tangle method that uh, that was actually found by uh, a couple okay and then uh, they are called uh, let me see whether i can share my the photo of them okay so let me just share my screen okay i'll share this one okay so first of all i think maybe we want to uh, tell everyone what is a zen tangle okay now zen tangle it it, uh, it, it separated the two, two <laughs> Zen plus tangle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's actually called a calm pattern. Okay, and then if we were to uh, and who who is the founder? Let me just go and show you who's the founder. Must be okay. somebody Japanese. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it was uh, actually an American artist, and uh, and and his and her. And her wife and his wife, okay, Maria and Rick, they actually invented the these patterns, oh. uh, and then they they actually, and it actually become uh, very popular, and and they also wasn't very sure about the science behind Zen tangles, but actually a lot of, there's a lot of stories that says that it really really helped them, and then after that they they actually went to I think uh some research was going on for doing Zen Tango and they found that it actually relaxes the mind because as you draw the patterns, you actually untangle uh, some thoughts in your mind. It's kind of like a declutter. After you draw, you're focusing on certain uh, therapeutic move, right? And after that, uh, once you finish, right, and you see it, the work is done, I, the, the brain relaxes. Mm. Uh, very um, miraculously. The, the scribble, the scribble, like also constitute to this doodling. Yeah. Oh, yes, this yes. yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. So, so, so they they believe, right? They believe, right? I'm not sure whether you can see because it's very small here. They believe that uh, when we are doing a stroke, right? Yeah, uh, deliberately. Okay, you are making a, a marks in your life. Okay, mm -hmm. so and then uh, every stroke, right, you understand that it is a, although very small and significant stroke, right, it ha actually constitute moments. And when you see the whole strokes uh, being formed, right, it's actually a, a beautiful work. Wow. So th that mm -hmm. is what uh, that they believe in. So so wow. if you really uh, like are interested to find out, you can actually go to their website. Yeah. Okay, so today, right, we will actually, uh, and then what is the benefits, right? I think I think you can see uh, the benefits over here is that it is a way of creating beautiful images from re repetitive patterns and it's fun and relaxing. So anyone can do it because you don't have to know a lot of art to do it. What okay. if we can't draw very well, Mephis? <laughs> yeah, so today is the day that you can learn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, this is what I've done. Uh, wow. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> That's like Baltic print, right? So nice. Yeah. So, this is what I've done a uh, uh, pretty long year, time ago. And then, after that, once I got into it, right, you actually, you, you can actually, uh, it actually increases your focus and then uh, creativity because every now, now now that when you make a pattern right you actually have you actually find more ways to find patterns uh, in your life somehow you will, you will notice something and then it and become maybe it could be a next idea for my Zen tango something like that right, so it, right, right. it increases your your uh, creativity along the way so and then after that being so um, into it right then I, I began to do 
another work. So this work oh. was was actually a tribute to Singapore in a sense because the the sunbird, the crimson sunbird is actually our national bird. Oh, that's beautiful. So yeah. the you know the the so called the black the the silhouette of the bird is actually a sunbird. Wow. So after that, so so I just. Uh, use the Zen. I mean, I do. I did a Notan. This is actually a Notan, uh, uh, design. But then I added Zen Tangle to it. It's just need to enhance it. So actually, uh, it is a a very. Uh, I would say a, a very interesting pattern making to enhance your design. But then, uh, if you don't, if you don't, uh, but it all started from very small, small uh square pattern first. Yeah. So if you if you were to look at the the the, the artwork itself, right, I actually make use of things in nature. So it's actually whatever I saw in nature, the pattern I saw in nature, I put it in the Zen tangle. That's lovely. Yeah. Mephis, yeah. if the audience is going to join us with the drawing, what must they prepare? Let me just type and show. Uh, what do they good. need to prepare? Okay, so I will stop blank paper. paper. Yeah, you will need you will need uh, uh, a blank paper if you have like. Uh, grid, grid, grid lines also can. If it's blank, it's also fine. Okay. If it's fine. Yeah. 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 Uh, the uh, blank ones is also fine. And or any, you have any just... form of pens or pencil. Uh, okay, pen. Uh. Okay, so if you are uh, in Zen Tangle, they actually uh suggest to use a pen. So okay, pen. Uh, we don't use any pencil, but if you really feel very uncomfortable, you can use pencil to do some certain sketches first before you ink it. So any kind of pen, but if you really want to have watercolor, I mean, I mean like waterproof, it'd be good to have permanent waterproof pen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is uh, some uh, some kind of marker up, that you up pen, yeah, yeah, yeah. sketch pen. But then if you really don't have, then you just use a normal pen. <laughs> Okay. Or your most favorite ink pen that you want. Okay. So any color is fine. Yeah? Uh, color. Okay, you can do black or blue. Uh, or if you can start with purple or anything that you want. Or any color that you like. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Great, great. I have this. Did you say any pencil? I have like the whole box. <laughs> get me ready. It's the best time to get, yeah. used, get all your unused dictionary and quickly yeah, come. Yeah. Come so, so color pencils also can, right? Uh, color pencil will, will be Too better light. coloring. Yeah. So, but then okay. for the, for the, for I the, actually prepared that. You can put it away. Will be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, like our previous session, we actually also draw, draw, like with pen, right? So it's fine. So the, the act of using pen, right, is to increase your confidence in just mm -hmm. making that stroke. Yeah. Okay. So it's like uh, you will not, you, you because you cannot erase. So okay. the, yeah, so the you stroke. Erase. That <laughs> hey, yeah. well, you know, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, 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 one is the end of the We just delete okay. the layer. <laughs> You did mention something through this drawing and meditation. Sometimes it can be very personal. So what do we mean by that? Uh, you Don't mean share. I think it's personal. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You, you did mention you know after the drawing and when we were to share or reflect. Actually, there is some personal, um, like uh, uh, uh what what do you say? Indications or imply when we do some drawing, right? What do you mean by it's personal? like a diary, right? It's like a it's personal a diary because. because my when you were doing your pattern, sometimes it evokes certain kind of emotions, or it could be uh, oh. that you, when you are drawing certain 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 patterns, you wouldn't want to share that pattern because it's personal to you. It doesn't matter. So, so we will actually see if you share, you just see the whole picture. We don't you don't have to explain every single part because it's abstract. So right. so uh, then you can only share. Maybe you share what you have you like to share. They don't don't have to share every single part of it. Yeah. So so when it's personal, it means that uh, some things you you can keep it to yourself because that is the your 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 own experience. You don't have to uh, share with everybody. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So if you are okay to share, like uh, like uh, maybe Kwa later want to share, or Jane want to share, or even Chrissy you want to share, <laughs> you because uh, it is a safe space for everyone. So we want it to be create this safe space. Safe space. Yes, it's a life. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not very safe, Jane. No, it's not too safe. <laughs> but... uh, well, it doesn't matter. You can also tell, you can also show that you can only need to show your design. You can just show it. Tell us your experience. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> we're, well, nervous, we're, we're ready. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Cross first. So I guess we need some warm up because um, uh, you know, we are all like very uh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we come from the nowhere. You can do wriggle your hands, <laughs> and then after that, well, you can start uh breathing first by uh doing the the you know you know the infinity sign. Hmm. Infinity okay, sign, okay. so you warm up your fingers so you can do the you can do breathe in and then breathe out. Just do some air drawing, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. This is get your breath at a going. You know, when artists uh, draw, right, they also breathe. <laughs> okay, no, is that <laughs> yeah, you don't stop breathing when you are drawing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. So let's be mindful about our breath. Once you're ready, you can get our pen ready. Okay. So today, right, because uh, you're doing a, a, a whole new Zen tangle, we are going to do a heart tangle. And uh, so we will start with a weaving pattern, which I will demonstrate to all of you first, because weaving is actually quite close to my heart. And I want to teach you this weaving pattern first then after that you will draw your own patterns at the side uh, of the heart okay so uh, maybe I will show you how my 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 example is first to everyone okay okay let me see my 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 boy able to see Can you all see yes yes Yes. So do we just draw a heart? Okay, so I will teach you how to do this one first, this part yes. first. Then you will extend the other two and draw your own pattern there. Yeah, okay. You get what I mean? Okay. Mm, okay. So, so, so we, can we begin? Yeah, okay, yes. so we will be drawing this one first. So if you were to look at my uh, example here, if you do it in a squarish form, you'll be drawing this pattern first. Then after that, we will extend at the side. Okay. Everybody got Is it, it all right for everybody? <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate first. I'm going to demonstrate okay, first. Okay, good. It's a white no, uh, no worries. Okay. No worries. okay. Yeah, okay. Just follow you, okay? Yeah, okay. So... The last time we laughed at Qua drawing, now he's going to laugh at ours. <laughs> no, we cannot <laughs> laugh at ours <laughs> drawing. <laughs> this, uh, okay. All right. So let's say you got... Uh, you, uh, okay, the weaving pattern, right? Actually, we will start with uh, a warm up. That means we we will put we put four dots around around the, the page. Okay, so it will be a so you don't don't I don't 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 use you to start first, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I will draw four dots like a diamond. Okay. Okay, and then I will I will join the dots to form a square. Okay. All right. Okay, so 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 a weaving pattern is such that you will you actually start with a small small squares. So let's say for example if you are very you are someone who is very meticulous and then you want to divide this square into three, yeah you can. Okay. So what you need to do is you divide. So you draw three squares. Okay. And then another three, three square below. Okay. For that. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do do so, do you want to do it now? Okay. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. It will give some time. It will give some time. Some space at the top. My square doesn't okay. look like a square. 
It doesn't matter. matter. You, have a, <laughs> you have a screen that get deleted. <laughs> but I don't want to cheat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so the idea is to have four dots first. You put four dots rough to make a Nine's square. Nine's not so straight. The hands are all shivering. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> So the dots will connect to a, become a line. The two dots become a line. Okay, okay. So what's next, Mephi? Oh, you're so fast. Okay. <laughs> Which is <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Jane, all right? Yep, yep. Good, good. Good, good huh? Okay, so yeah, now that's, that's this is the, the part that we want to uh, know about. Okay, so, so at, so once you start here, right, you go, you need to tell yourself it's up and down, up and down. So, so you draw a line above the square, above the small square. Then the next one is below. The next one is on top. The next one is below. Okay. Below, okay. on top, below. Okay. Yeah, it's like okay. a chant. So you just say uh, top, like top, below, top, below. <laughs> like when you do weaving, right? It's like over, under, over, under, kind of. Is the same 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 sequence. Distance okay. is all over the place, but okay. <laughs> okay, then yeah, yeah. the next. So the next row, the next row will be opposite. So it just if this one was top, then what will happen to this one? Will be below. So it's below. Always below, below, like bottom, below. top, below. bottom, top. Hmm. Then what will happen to the third row? You will know. Again, on top. Or oh, opposite, right? So it will be top, top, bottom, top, and below. Yeah. It's so zen that I'm going to fall asleep now. <laughs> <laughs> really? We should have some music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we should, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So now... The, now comes the, the vertical part, right? Mm. The vertical part, you will need to tell yourself that it is the f in the first row, right? It will be right, left, right, left. Okay. Okay, let me just draw first. I draw first yes, so that you, you, don't, you don't feel so scared. Okay, so <laughs> it'll be like, so it'll be right and the left side of the square for the second row. The right and the left. Okay. Then the second column, it will be, it will be left, left, right, then left and right. Hey, yeah, she looked quite nice. Oh, surprise. No, and go, and go. <laughs> After that. Okay. Then, okay, the last column will be? Right again. Correct. So, you'll be right and left. But it's crooked. It doesn't matter as well. So Mine is right. definitely crooked. <laughs> But we, and but all, all the threads are actually organic lines, so don't worry, yeah. Okay. No, so, yeah. Don't care about the size, huh? <laughs> can you see the weaving pattern now? Yeah, I can see now. Can you see it? Can you yeah. see the? the <laughs> That's how okay, okay. okay. That's how I can see like our physical mind look very fat. <laughs> very nice, nice. Okay, you're using ribbon, that means. No. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, great. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't have to be a perfect square too because because it, it's a cloth, Actually, it's like nice. it's a fabric, yeah. So yeah. so so now is how to combine to the heart. So it so uh if I, if you're someone who cannot draw a very good rainbow, 
like a rainbow, right? And an arc over. What you can do is you put a dot in the middle. You put a dot in the, roughly in the middle of the, the square. And then you try to reach out to the dot. Oh. Okay, and then you reach uh, down to the other next dot. I bet I was going to look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think my going no more ink soon. Okay, so then you will, for the next one, you will, you will you do the same thing. Remember when you do, when you breathe, right, you can breathe. Breathe in when you're going up, and you go breathe out when you go down. Okay, yeah. you'll be more controlled. Okay, so then these two shapes is uh, empty, right? Now it's your your time to actually uh, uh do your own pattern. So meaning, I want you to divide into any segment that you wanted. So just now my example was I use this whole, 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 whole uh, pattern to divide my 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 shape. I can use something like that if because I like waves, yeah. So I will always draw waves in my pattern. Okay, then over here, if you want to divide some more, you can actually do you can do straight lines or curvy line up to you. So, but I I always like to have a loop. Okay, so so for Zen Tangle, every section is a pattern. So every oh. section can be a pattern. So so for example, uh, let's say today I uh, I feel like zigzag line because it's like a really a bad day. Okay, so I can I'm th I'm th angry all the time. So therefore, I'll be like uh, doing zigzag lines for this part of the for this part of the part the segment here okay okay yeah then uh for for those who are a bit more adventurous you can actually uh color in or make uh give a li different weight to the line so the weight can be uh, because today really the mood is really bad so therefore i want to bold this line and then create create contrast in my design okay yeah okay so if you understood you can actually start and if you really don't know any patterns out of your head right now i will show you some sample Okay, the whole idea is to repeat the line that you just drawn and just keep repeating. And you said sections in section alignment, yeah. right? So you set yeah, you kind of divide the the, the whole big shape, shape. The smaller shape. And then each shape, each segment that you divided is one pattern. Wow, nice. Let me just do this. Okay, let me share something over here. But our, our pattern doesn't mean to be have anything, right? I just no, don't doesn't want to come it doesn't. Yes, yeah, correct. So I was I'm sharing some patterns. Uh, BC. I'm so sorry to interrupt. <laughs> so <laughs> you can you can see right. Yeah. Can't see. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Hang on. Hang you on. just have to show it first. Okay. So, no, so no, uh, wow. you can create oh. contrast with like a thin versus thick, or black versus white, or curvy versus straight in your in your uh, design. Okay. So, if you have of ideas, you can look at these. Okay.
Oh, are you drawing dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it might look like a dinosaur soon. <laughs> I think whatever we draw had to do with our profession as well. Wherever my hand takes me. <laughs> now you'd be surprised before you look at whatever <laughs> that if it has shared with you, your your idea of patterns is different <laughs> until when she <laughs> Yeah, I was actually. Uh, this is the this is the part where I I really enjoy because this is the same thing that will happen when the students are drawing them dangle. It's like there's a silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is when you are, you are there. Very relaxing. It, that maybe does this look like some of like the Japanese art? Uh, you mean like the Notan? Yeah, uh, something Notan, like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Notan is also uh, is is more like uh, the positive space versus negative space. So it's like a black and black versus white. Yeah, it is one of the idea. Ah, uh -huh, wow. Yes. It's so good, right? It made us slow down and really like doing this doodle. <laughs> yeah, but and you realize you're using pen, right? Yeah, yeah. So when you're using pen, you're more mindful. So if you're using a very thin pen and then you really want to bold the line, you can use a, another pen or you can actually uh, draw a double line, then you, then you color within. So can we do anything in the, the center part, the waving part? Can, can, you can. can. Yeah, you can do some shade. You can do some coloring if you want to. Mm. Yeah. Like you like to make a certain part, a uh, certain color. Now, how much time do we have, Mephis? <laughs> uh, well, what is the time now? Okay, it's like almost uh, almost time, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay, so once you're done, 
You just had a heartogram. Oh, sorry, not heartogram. It's heart tangle. Heart tangle. So, yeah, and you have this weaving that that says about um, how our lives has woven together. So you got to interpret our drawing now, then. Oh, I do, I do have any. I don't have, I don't have the power to interpret your joy. Yeah. I haven't used color pencil for a long time, you know. No, they realize it. Yeah, it's a good time to. Uh, to use yeah, any time materials. I use yeah. My goodness. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have. I don't. We don't have a lot of time, so let's see what we have, yeah. everyone. Okay. Okay. Show us what Jane. We see Jane on. <laughs> so what does Jane on tell us? Oh, Jane can draw. I enjoyed oh, it. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. Really good. Very nice. Okay. I, I, I'll tell you what I was drawing. When I was drawing one of this, I did a reading today with the children about bubbles around oh. the car and all that. And then the idea came, you know, why not bubbles, you know? So I suppose, yeah. you know, like what you said, something that happened within the day can also affect the way you actually start drawing. So yes. there was no thought about it, but then when I thought about the bubbles and the book that we read together, so that one came up. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, very nice. Okay, Kwa, yours first. Kwa, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, oh, colors. Oh, yes. Very nice. Kwa has Thank such an innocent in drawing, isn't it? It's just very... Do you tell... I think through the drawing, we can tell some personality, right? That's uh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want, do you have any explanation for your colors? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> just like the color. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess on, on the, on, on this side, I just thought of bright, bright colors. And on this mm -hmm. side, was a little bit like a, on the darker side-ish, like more, more, more purplish, I would say like girlish. This, I don't know. Can, this can be a very nice uh, company logo, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I yeah, just, it's lovely. I kind of shaded it, shaded this. Well, mm -hmm. used, used gray instead of black, and lovely. Try to mimic very the shape. Nice. Wow, um, very nice and, weaving on that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see. Each of us are drawing the same thing, but yeah, it comes out different. So, different. Yeah, it's like so weird. So, yeah. so look at mine. Whoa. Oh, wow. I haven't wow. used color pencil for a long time. I thought that is quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> self praise. This is also part of self love. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, wow. like that's meaning. <laughs> so, so what, the, what, what do this bring us then, Memphis, through this drawing? Uh, through this drawing, just need, you will just have. You will appreciate what you have done, and then after and, and think about then and love your inner art inner artist within you. You actually have everything, uh, within you. And then when you look at you look at the design, it's like it's just that moment in time when you actually did this. It sometimes you don't have to, uh, see it and then and then say that okay, I love I love myself. No, this is probably a part of uh, decluttering. And then after that, affirm yourself that, oh, okay, yeah, today I just did this. Yeah, and uh, I can draw more. I can, and then after that, when you realize, after today's drawing, you maybe, when you walk out the next day, you probably will look at other patterns somewhere. Ah, so it, it, it's very natural. It's, like, it's just like, it's just like hey, oh, yeah, okay. Suddenly, I, I tend to look at uh, plants more because I, I, I see different types of plants suddenly and then and then uh you go about your day looking at something beautiful rather than uh, looking at all the negative things yeah and then you see that every object that you see everything that you see has its own design yeah. 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 I, Good observation skills yeah yeah i i observe at, in building structures when i'm outside yeah. especially on the pavement the cracks 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, where where the lines lead to. Yes. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a it's like a it's like a, some people are very uh, attuned to textures around us. So so you and then you tend to feel it, and when you feel it, and you can draw it. So that's why probably Kwa has tracks in his uh, design. So See, I understand now. Is it, we we were all in a rush when we came into this room because we were doing something else and. By the time we came in, we have to settle down. And even by drawing those dots, we, we literally have to slow down and be so patient. I, I was like, oh my God, draw dots. <laughs> you know? So imagine, I think that is so good. Zen Tanger really meant to make you slow down. Yes. And now you really appreciate things that you have just created. Mm. Oh, amazing. I think yes. that, is, that is really a good um, way and to I think my takeaway is that, you know, there is no wrong in it. The fact yes. that whatever yeah. you draw, is yours and it you, you own it and there's no no but you know you can't criticize it or anything but you just own it for yourself you know and i love the fact that there's no wrong about it yeah you yeah. know what's good about yeah. it too because we draw it now and then a couple of years later once we still have it we look back at it and we actually appreciate it more true that's yeah true. and we evolve yeah, i think yeah true. you evolve yeah. Become, let's see why it will become better you know? <laughs> now that the slim down, are out. a slim down version <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's, that's the, amazing that's, yeah. yeah that's the beauty about journaling i mean i mean yeah it's good to write but then you when you draw it it's also part of you so you, you it's actually part of you so you, you can actually look back so that's why art is actually something a re- repository of your memories so mm, you wow. uh, so that's how artists uh make art because they want to capture the moment or maybe the moment of thought moment of uh where they were and 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 how they actually uh or they want to see tell us about the world uh what they see so when they kept when they look back people know what's happening at that moment or how he feels at that moment yeah so drawing uh, self-expressions through art is a journey it's not just yes. this moment even like kwa jay maybe myself we have drawn something but i bet after down, sometime down the road, if we look back and we draw something else, we have told it will, will, it will evolve over the time. Yeah, so uh, maybe it's, uh, Laura have requested you to post the uh, patterns. Maybe you can do it up on uh, Facebook later. Can, so can, sure. You know, they can have some idea. We, thank you so much for today. I think yeah. it's such a good reminder. I think even slowing down is self-love because we are really making time for ourselves. And this Zantanga have really made us realize that a, a little time to just do the itself does have a self um like reflection isn't it i i, I totally appreciate this session thank you so mm-hmm. much Mephis, and we look forward for the next one again <laughs> okay, thank you everyone sure. thank you so much thank for joining us everyone now do remind take a little bit time off for yourself this week to exercise self-love now self-love is not just about um it's not an overrated thing of selfishness. It's about uh, talking to uh, about yourself with love, prioritize yourself, give yourself a break from self-judgment, trusting yourself, uh, being true to yourself, being nice, set a healthy, like, uh, set a healthy boundary, forgiving yourself when you aren't, uh, you know, being true or nice to yourself. So this is a reminder for this week that do take care of yourself, self-love and self-care is only start by you thank you so much for joining us everyone and we look forward to see you again thank you everyone take care thank you for joining bye us bye. take care everyone bye. thank you my thank you thank jane you. thank you, thank you. Take care, then. Bye. bye 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 everyone bye